कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे मारा मारी होगी गाइस वी गा ह्यूज प्लॉट ट्विस्ट अप in our hands okay we got a massive plot twist seconds are not believing it some brothers believe that we're never gonna get gta 6 some are believing that it's coming out early 2025 and that's when we're gonna get to see the lucia bruna yes yeah, some people are believing that and i truly do hope we get to see the lucia bruna in early 2025 as well Bruh. but what is really going on right now why is there this much fuss about it i got a video that i want to show you and surely there's a separate drama about the game being woke or not woke like the video if you don't want the game to be woke just like the video if you want the game to be woke because you if you have been around you have you likely have seen the videos if you have not definitely check them out later on because yeah a lot of people are really really worried after what rockstar games have done but first of all let's talk about this roll it for the past few weeks many websites have been reporting with conflicting news about the gta 6 release date. Some claim it will be in early 2025, while others believe there will be a delay and the game will likely not be released until 2026. This is about articles like the one recently published on Kotaku, Kotaku. saying GTA 6 production reportedly falling behind. Rockstar Kotaku can suck on these nuts, urges staff to return to office to avoid delay. Okay, yeah. so I recently reported to you about the situation with Rockstar. Damn. Like, if the Rockstar game devs do not go back to the office, this is how the gameplay is gonna look like laggy. Hopefully not, bro. Employees. In short, from April, they are forced to switch from remote work to working in the office five days a week, Bruh. and many employees are not happy with this. That's one of the reasons people are saying the game is going to be delayed. Kotaku said, officially unveiled in December 2023, after a massive 2022 yeah. leak, GTA 6 is... And you want to know the craziest thing? The guy that leaked the Lucia Burna to begin with, the guy that leaked like 90 videos all the way back in September, he's still chained up though. Oh shit! Oh, he's shit. still chained up. Nobody knows what's going on with the guy. And as a brown man, I got a demand for his freedom, guys. That's the least we can do. Brother took the matter in, in, in his own hands and he showed the world the gameplay of GTA 6. Come on, man. What in the comments if you if the homie deserve his freedom? Like the video if he, if he deserve his freedom, man. They got him chained up, bro. It's the hotly anticipated follow-up to 2013's GTA 5. Over a decade after that game's release and its massive, Damn. still growing sales numbers, Rockstar Games is hard at work on the sequel, yeah. which is set in Vice City, a fictional take on Miami, Strong. Florida. The game is set to come to PS5 and Xbox series sometime in 2025. And internally... Yo, what about, like, PC, though? I don't think this suck is gonna drop on PC, like, before 2027. And if this game actually gets delayed to 2026, and it's over! It is over! PC Master is, like, at that time, at that point, we're, we're probably gonna have RTX 6090 or 5090, dog. Yeah. That's still the plan. Kotaku was told by sources with knowledge of the situation that early 2025 is currently the goal. However, Kotaku has also learned that it's becoming more and more likely that the sequel might not land until late 2025. It's also possible that it could even slip into 2026 yeah. as production reportedly falls behind. In February, You know what? It's cool if the game gets delayed to 2026. It's cool. It's alright, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll just become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd, okay? <laughs> if GTA 6, if GTA 6 doesn't get released in the year 2025, I'll just become a monk, all right? Fair? Fair. All right, you know, you feel what I'm saying? But on December 32nd, though, okay? Not before, not after, okay? February, following numerous leaks, Bloomberg reported that Rockstar Games was mandating its employees to return to work five days a week in the office beginning in April. The short notice and drastic change caught many by surprise, and has led to frustration from staff who feel like they are being pushed out after being hired remotely, as reported by Aftermath on March. How many of you guys work five days a week? How many of you guys work five a day is five days a week and you don't complain? How many of you guys work more than just five days a week? Come on, y'all, like get back to the office, bro. Like it ain't that deep, bro. Like come on, man. There are people that they don't even have work, bro. You got work, go get 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 your ass over to the studio, bro. Like 19th. While security and quality are reportedly the main reasons Rockstar is instituting the mandate to return to the office, I was told by sources, who wish to remain anonymous, to avoid possible retaliation, that development on GTA 6 has started falling behind. I'm told this has leadership at Rockstar nervous and worried about the game missing the 2025 window and slipping into 2026, and is another big reason the company is pushing for a return to yeah. the office in April. Now, the oh hell, now, at this point, y'all suckers better get your asses back to the studio immediately immediately 
Yo, what are we doing here, dog? Like, now listen, I'm all up for work from home, but it's like, damn, homie, like, get your ass to the studio. Your employer wants you there, bro. You gotta cook that game, dog. Like, the moment, I'm saying? told that Rockstar is still aiming for GTA 6 to arrive in spring 2025. While an early 2025 so. release is the goal, sources say they so. aren't sure if this will happen, and a fall 2025 launch seems more plausible and feasible. Meanwhile, delaying the game to 2026 is on the table as a sort of fallback plan or emergency option if needed. And of course, it should be noted, and I was reminded when talking to folks... If that's the emergency plan, then my emergency plan would be to become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm joking, but, but, but like, come on, man, like, damn, homie. I, I mean, at this point, yeah, time is flying really quick, and we're gonna have, like, other games, even if it gets, it, like, nobody wants the game to be delayed, but it's like, yeah, I, I, people would agree that, right? Like, people want, like, a better product than, like, a rushed one, right? Okay, I, I agree with that, right? Like, at this point, yeah, if the game is not ready, then do not drop it in 2025, but it's like, Bruh, like, like, you, you feel what I'm saying? Ad, we we should have been talking about GTA 7 leaks at this point. Bruh. You you feel what I'm saying? Maybe even GTA 8 leaks, right? Bruh. Like, guys, come on, bruh. Like, we should have had this game years ago. Damn it, what are we doing here, dog? We should have had it. And right now, there's, like, really uh, a lot of people believing that this game is going to be, like, woke. Uh, if you guys have missed this video, y'all suck is better check that video out right after. GTA Shik is Shadley going full woke. And you're gonna see what Rockstar di did. This is not my opinion. This is not other people's opinion. It's a fact. This video, you're gonna see what Rockstar just did. And a lot of people are believing that it's gonna go woke. Had it been this game came out five years ago, like we should have got it, we wouldn't even be talking about the game being woke or not woke, right? But right now, a lot of people believing that it's gonna be woke, though, sadly. It's about this situation. That Rockstar Games historically waits until the last minute to make changes or alter plans, so the next trailer for the game, no word on when to expect that, might not reflect a delay as the company pushes forward on development. Even if the game is internally pushed back until late 2025 or is publicly delayed until 2026, that doesn't mean workers, who are being forced to return to the office against their wishes, won't have to crunch. In yeah. fact, sometimes delays just mean more crunch. So, news from Kotaku Facts? did not sound too optimistic. But the the situation does not end there because insights uh -oh. from Insider Gaming, however, offer a different perspective, confirming Yay. that GTA 6 is still on track and that Hold news up. of a delay is merely speculation. Mike Straw, senior editor for Insider Gaming, reacted to the Kotaku article with a post on X, saying this again since people are still running with it. I've mm. reached out to multiple sources and was told the game was on schedule and that any suggestion Yeah, of I covered this Kotaku entire story and basically we were talking about this, right? Like, it's coming from Kotaku, first of all, but... Uh, and and it's likely not real the information is not true but a lot of people do think myself included that the game can get delayed to possibly by the end of 2025 a lot of people already believe that like dad this game is gonna come out by the end of 2025 because oh they changed their wording from fiscal 2025 to calendar 2025 officially mind you this is what take two officially said so seconds do believe that it's gonna come out by the end of 2025 already so if you're gonna now say it can be delayed to 2026, I mean, we're talking Rockstar, it can be delayed. But the information from Kotaku, absolute bait, not real. They, they, they're just trying to rile up the gamers right now because they are on their last legs. I, I get that part, right? But, but still though, it, it can turn out to be true. And if it ever turns out true that the game is gonna come out in 2026, it's not that Kotaku was speak, is speaking the facts, it just happens to be that behind the scenes, yep, truly the game uh, wasn't ready and they had to delay. You, you feel the delay at this point in development is pure conjecture. What's interesting is that Kotaku updated their article, probably because of a lot- Hey, yo, what? What did you say? is pure conjecture. What's interesting Kotaku? is that Kotaku updated their article, <laughs> probably because of a lot of hate they received on X. Kotaku has now heard from more sources that while early 2025 was at one point possible, it's no longer the target for GTA 6's launch. As for why uh -huh. some believe this was what the case, sources? it seems this information was out of date and a symptom of Rockstar Games tightening security and communication within the company. I'm told yeah. not everyone is always on the same page or kept up to date across the various departments and teams. Yeah. Personally, I can confirm it's become 
become harder to nail down details since the leaks. However, the majority of sources were certain that early 2025 is no longer possible. Instead, yeah. the target is firmly fall 2025. And Man. while most seem confident of hitting that date, I'm still told there is a possibility of a delay, as previously reported. I was sure that Kotaku would retract their earlier misinformation that GTA 6 would be delayed, but to my surprise, they still they claim not. that the game will be delayed at least until fall 2025. At this moment, there is absolutely- I, I think a lot of people do already believe fall 2025, and when you official, when you really think about it officially, they just said 2025, so as long as they drop it in 2025, you cannot say like official delay, but deep down, if it comes out like by the end of 2025, deep down we know it's it, it, like they delayed it because during their earnings call, they did say fiscal 2025 which means early 2025 and now there's a calendar 2025 so surely they're not confident in releasing it early it can still happen because calendar just means january through uh to december right it can still happen but guys uh, like on a real like no cap though like no cap no cap as the kids would say nowadays seriously no cap it, it, it seriously don't feel like that it's gonna come out early 2025 though <laughs> Absolutely no information confirming this fact, and according to what we know based on Take-Two's revenue projections, GTA 6 is currently scheduled for release in the first three months of 2025. I of course, I... the fact it is currently scheduled to release in the first quarter of next year does not mean it will. As yeah, with every like, game, delays are possible. Does, it like, happened in the case of both GTA... Man, early 2025 would be such a treat, bro, like right after like the holiday season, because like January through March, we're not gonna have any major game releases. And if GTA 6 drops then, that's gonna be insane. And guys, this is that video that I was talking about. Rockstar is like removing stuff. And a lot of people believe that, yep, yeah, the game is gonna be woke. I hope not, but check it out. See it by yourself. On the left though, we actually had next-gen graphics and a lot more leaks for GTA 6. And we had some good news. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.